I'm here unboxing the LaView X1 Star Galaxy Projector. Now this is a projector that doesn't have a fixed projection image. It actually has slide disks you can put in it, and it comes with an assorted array of them, but you could also get extra ones to have all sorts of images you could put on your wall. It doesn't have to be just a galaxy, just the moon, just the stars. You can actually get like aquariums, dinosaurs, and all sorts of awesome things. It comes with a remote, which is nice to control and point at it and just trigger the different settings and options. It has has a sleep timer, it has the ability to rotate the images, it has the ability to have the images slowly spin in the circles on the ceiling, and here's what the projection discs are and the ones that are included. You can see you got a 3D dinosaur, you got the Northern Hemisphere star in the sky, and let's see what other two you got here. You also have the aquarium one included, the underwater creatures, and then you've got the moon and the earth, which is another one. So. You charge it via USB-C cable, which it includes one. Now, I did find that the USB-C cable is fairly long, but not long if you want to have this projector in the center of a room. It's better off if you have it somewhere towards uh, the end table or a wall or near an outlet because the cord isn't that that long. Then, of course, you have the supply power brick itself as well. Now, the projector itself, the one I have is the blue color, a nice ocean-themed blue color, but you can get it in white, black, blue, or kind of like a pinkish color. So you can get the color that suits the room you want to put it in best. And it kind of gives you instructions on how to use it right here, but of course you could peel those off and set those aside. And you've got your buttons. The power button so obvious, rotating the timer button. Here is your projection image itself, and then of course you've got your focus lens on the top. So let me set this aside and show you a little more about the stand. So I love the way it could pivot. Rotates so you could point it straight at the ceiling, rotate it down and point it at the wall. Here is where you have the little stick cover on the projector itself. It's very, very lightweight, easy to rotate and just point at the angle you want to point it at to where you want to project the image. Here will be where you have the slide disc, where you put in your projection image disc. You just slide it in right here. One thing to note too is with the image disc, it only goes in one way. If it's upside down, you'll never be able to focus your image. So feel the slide. So feel the side of the disc. The side where you feel it's kind of like indented or it sticks out, that's the side you're going to point down. The smooth side is going to be the side that's up. So here's with the disc in. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in and get it tested out. I have all the lights off in my room. I know it's a little grainy because my camera can't record in the dark, but look at this galaxy image that it projects on the ceiling. It is so beautifully detailed. I mean, you could see the stars, the little pinpoints. Such an incredible galaxy image that's projected onto the ceiling. I was just really stunned at how sharp the resolution is of this Lav UX1 projector. It really fills the entire ceiling. You have to make sure you have a lot of open wall or ceiling. So you have the button of the remote that could turn on these little green kind of lasers. So you get these little green stars that show up. They're only green and they only come in a couple different brightness levels, but they kind of show. Now I'm pressing the buttons on the projector so the image is kind of getting a little disturbed here. But what I really love is the rotate button. When you press the rotate button, here's how the galaxy or projected image just kind of spins around the ceiling. And again, one thing I want to point out here is you need a lot of space and room around this projector because the image it projects is so wide it fills the entire ceiling. So let's switch over to show you the sea creatures. So this is the sea creatures one, which is kind of like this aquarium themed, which is just really cute for a kid's room, especially a kid who loves little whales and turtles and sea creatures. It's very soothing. It's good to have up and you could set it on a timer to last like 30 minutes at night and a little kid can go to bed or a baby can just stare at their ceiling and watch it just kind of spinning while you have some light, gentle music playing. Just a really, really great ambient atmosphere to put in a kid's room with this one here with the aquarium. Now I'm just show you, I have my wall over here, right? But look at this thing trying to project to a wall. Again, the projection image is so large, it's better suited for ceilings, although you can project it on a wall. You're going to want to get a USB cord extended though, so you have more flexibility with where you can place it in the room. Finally, my favorite one, of course, is the earth and the moon, and it just looks phenomenal. Again, zooming in the camera here, it just looks stunning on your ceiling in the dark, how well. It's almost like a planetarium level projector quality image that shows up on your ceiling with this LaView X1 projector. Probably the best highest resolution Galaxy Nebula projector I've seen. You could see again, depending on where you want to place it, you have to angle it, you have to work out the cording and where the cords are. You have the light on the side to show you that it's powered on. And of course, I didn't want my dogs to knock it over, but this is a really, really fantastic projector. If you're looking to just add an ambiance to any room, a kid's room, a bedroom, or just an office at night, this projector won't go wrong. And I just love the way you could spin the images around. Excellent projector, highly recommended.